Yeah, I like that. That's the best DDD alt. Oh, he's not the best DDD alt. He's purple. Oh. The like black robe with the checkered finish line Dude, design that's is the best. That's the such I, a good like, alt. How would you play DDD and just not use the best alt? Oh. Mm -hmm. Dang, Gordo chunks. Uh oh. Oh, I got called. Uh oh. I, Brian, uh, Maestro got called. I unfortunately okay. gonna have to. Oh, we both got called. We'll go right now. Okay, okay, uh, okay. we're What's gonna come and commentate the rest of this game, and then we gotta go player sets. But all right, game one. Honestly, huge lead coming up from Gong. That's it. Oh. Yeah, you can't roll. You just have to wait there. Uh, best option would be to like drop down and jump and up the Gordo maybe with Squirtle, or jump and jump and just nair dodge through the F smash. But because you can kind of react to it slamming down. But yeah, good stuff yeah, to Gong. Good ledge trap. For a lot of those landing dares. Yeah. Ooh, that's huge. Yeah, this Honestly, so far. DDD is really good at ledge trapping trainer, and so this matchup isn't too bad. Oh, yeah. That combined with how hard he is to edge guard and how how long he lives. Honestly, I could see DDD doing pretty good in the trainer. If only he could. Nah, actually, I can't even say that it'll just armor Ivysaur up, like down there or up here, because like the timing is just ambiguous enough yeah. where it's really hard to time Ivysaur down there on it. Yeah, because you don't know how long the armor for DDD's up might last. Yeah. As it, yep, ledge trapping. Ivy literally can't get off the ledge unless he potentially tries to drop down. Wow, up good Gordo. Yeah, like the mix on ledge. I think the big thing is when you're Ivy Star, though, you can just drop down Vine Whip, and it's really solid against Gordo. A lot is happening. That Stardo. Spit him out. Oh Damn. Okay, when a DD runs at you and does neutral B, it actually feels like the best option in the game. <laughs> Like, it just feels like he beat you. You feel like you lost to a DDD when the moment that they've ran up and done, like, jump. Do the worst option you could think of. You're like, dang, I should not have gotten hit by that. Yeah. Because, like, what is a DDD going to run at you with that's going to hit your shield? <laughs> They're up probably throw? not no, going to, like, oh, throw. wow. Or they're going to nice. take it. DDD being too fat in the blast zone. Not going to survive there. Oh, Lord. Wow. That did a lot of damage. That went from 80 <laughs> to 111. <laughs> The double hit from Gordo and the hammer hitting him into Gordo. I really feel like males should switch off from Squirtle in this I like, situation. Because yeah. stray hits. And, and you're dead to a stray hit, and it's like, I don't know. You need one hit. Like, this is huge. This is this is, Now you swap off. You go straight to Ivy Star here. You do not stay Squirtle. Yeah, get that advantage with You can't Ivy. hold advantage with Squirtle against DDD very comfortably. I mean, I guess you can, but. Mm. So far, it, it ain't looking too bad, though. Bringing it back slowly but surely. Oh, uh, about to get... No, I'm sorry. I feel like up throw might be able to mix male GI in this situation. Forward tilt. Definitely gonna not, not take quite. it. Dang. Alright, but he has such a safe ledge trap here. Just forward tilt. Yeah, that's all he's gonna go for. He's gonna go for forward tilt win con. Okay, yep. but the rolling. Yeah, by the Male has, has been really scared of all these Gordos. He's rolled into like all of them. Every time he sees the startup, he rolls into the hammer hit that knocks him into the Gordo. Had the right idea using oh, Razor. Right, we gotta play now. Oh, um <laughs> Ah, good talking for a. Uh, Set and a half of one. Set and a half, yeah. <laughs> Catch you fellas later. All right, we're on commentary. It's gonna be me, the, be uh, the second best Roy in state, with the third best Roy in state. What's hey up? man, hey man. Up, Dave, <laughs> Wait, oh. Mr. Phantom. Mr. Phantom, Mr. Chase, how we doing today? Oh, I'm doing peachy. Uh, we're watching uh, the yeah. goat. <laughs> the goat faucet. faucet. Yeah. Uh, I fought against this male person. I've never seen this male person before at a tournament. They were doing really good in friendlies. Okay, it I, was like one of those things where like it's an ego check. Where like <laughs> I've never seen this person before. I have to have a conversation with myself while I'm struggling against them, whether or not I'm the worst player on the planet, or maybe they're just really good and they don't go to things. You know what? I know that feeling, but I, I think I've seen him around once or twice. So, oh. <laughs> okay, that fair, fair, fair is yes. gonna end up working. Positive. Roy can do that. Roy can know. do that. You're right. Nice uh, stock for faucet. I wonder how um I wonder how PT does in this matchup. In uh, against DDD? DDD, yeah. Uh, I, I would imagine that it's probably good for PT in the same way uh, most DDD I matchups are good for the other characters. Sounds trolled. I feel like PT's juggling is not very good. 
Well, I, was gonna say, I, I feel like, if anything, getting off ledge seems really difficult for them. Because that's already a struggle, and then now you have to do that while Gordo is bouncing at you. Mm -hmm. Seems hard. Their ledge neutral getup is not very strong, as I've heard uh, from Ian. And overall, their disadvantage is pretty bad. So I'm assuming uh, they probably... It's not as free as one way thing. Yeah. I, I think a lot of top tier versus like low tier matchups are usually end up being like not as free as they would seem on paper. But like, I mean, yeah, Fawcett's doing a pretty good job here. Up like an entire stock. Mm -hmm. Both of them out. Just can't keep it down. Oh, okay. Up two stocks right now. <laughs> Come Back air curse. way beyond kill. <laughs> yeah. Worth but he, he exploded. <laughs> God. <laughs> Yeah, that's big damage, though. Yeah, let's yeah. see. Oh, got he's, the got loops? Those he's got those heavy combos. Okay. I like it. And yeah, Fawcett's kind of getting cooked up a little bit at the moment. Oh, that was a crazy bullet slide. I love uh, when the Gordo ever, gets... Uh, it's so funny. I don't think any Ivysaur except Ian has like ever intentionally done bullet seed. <laughs> it's always a miss. Of it. Back like a long time ago when you used to have Dark Cruise in the community. He was oh, like please don't get hit by this. No, don't, no, no, don't no, do no, 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 Go to no, ledge, no. go to ledge, go to ledge, please. Okay, thanks. Oh, he could have armored that. Thank you for not getting hit by the jet hammer. Oh, we don't want to see that on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just don't want to see a DDD that, winning, to be honest. Leave that in your drafts. <laughs> we don't want to see your charge hammer. I saw kilogram hours hit that as combo breaker, and I groaned. <laughs> but shout outs to Fawcett, shout winning to Fawcett that set 2-0. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> Very strong performance from the GOAT.